the UK declared war on the USSR. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. All right, UK, you really just want to be that fucking useless. Go ahead. Oh, man, we're sailing right past some of his fucking islands. You could look in the Pacific at any time and see this mass of fucking units. How many units is this already? Uh, it's like 600 already. Oh no, he has ships over here. He can see what I'm doing. Oh dear. Oh my god, I can't believe he hasn't noticed this. This is literally the riskiest fucking thing. I'm like desperately trying to work with the AI to make this work and oh my lord. This is anxiety inducing. Jesus fuck, man. I could use some more over there, I'm not gonna lie. Especially some more offensive, if possible. We are filling up this jungle. This is disgusting. Holy crap. Holy absolute fucking crap. This is the end of the first big ass fucking wave, guys. We've landed almost the first big ass wave. This is over 500 troops by itself. By itself, that's almost, that's most of it. That is most of what we have sent. So most of the invasion force has landed safely. If I ever need to send more troops, it'll be a little more difficult though. Uh, for whatever reason, because I'll have to probably skirt them around his islands. That or I'll have to just take over the whole fucking ocean. So that would be a process of like sailing them down south into the South Pacific, going to Australia, and then shipping up through the East Indies, for example, which by the way, I'm probably surely going to ally them and New Guinea. I'm not going to do it this instant because it will make him look in the Pacific and go, oh, what the fuck? And then he will see my units just doing what they're doing. I'm picking a choke point for me to work up, but this is such a crazy amount of stuff. Like this is so much of his oil, so much of his rubber. I don't need this stuff, but I can deny it then that's, that's good. I'm gonna set all the battle zones in Japan, essentially, to do not fucking go here. Because <laughs> I don't want my AI to get any ideas of going after his stupid mainland. Oh, the rangers are here. I gotta land as many of my units as possible. For some reason, even with no permissions, a lot of my units are still trying to leave, but I gotta land as many as possible because he literally has ships here. He has ships literally right outside of Singapore that can attack absolutely fucking anything that I have over here. This is it, though. Some of them got away, but this is the last of the units that I'm sending. Once they unload, we are good to go to war. Let's get the alliances popping. Okay. That's everyone. You would do that. Do what? I'm an alliance with... <laughs> Damn it. That's not all I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I see. This is what I'm doing. Oh, well, fuck you then. The war officially has begun. We're pouring in. He has garrisons everywhere, but we can take them. We are not firing so many bullets that it has to be a problem. Gotta take everything we can pushing in here. I'm gonna make the theater here a little more important. Hopefully my friends will send some assistance, of course. Wonder if the Soviets will ally me as well now. Yes, they will. That's good. That will help. Not worried about him counterattacking anywhere, really. A lot of my units seem like they want to leave, naturally. That's just not gonna happen. I do have a barracks here by now, yes? Yes. So I can heal my units that are here. He's sending a large force from the north. He's meeting me head on. Yep. But, here's the big but. Okay, he has military goods that he did not have. Uh, So he must have pulled out a supply from somewhere. We're going to maximize garrisons in this theater, I'll tell you that much. He's retreating heavily to this barracks here. I don't want to end up accidentally sailing anything you fucking really want to anywhere. This war right now. <laughs> Do I what? I'd say you really wanted to end the war right now, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm not trying to end anything. I am not doing this with the intent to conquer you. I promise you that. If I wanted to conquer you, 
I would have gone for your mainland. I would have gone for your mainland if I wanted to see your country come to an end from this. All right, we're draining our military goods, but he's already rapidly draining his as well. Some of our units are getting a little ahead of themselves. We gotta get some pushes going. A lot of our units are just sitting around, not doing very much. We gotta get some movement. So far, I have lost some units, but I probably am killing way more of his than I've lost. I'm willing to bet. We're destroying his naval units in the area. It's going actually really, really well. The Philippines... Mm, the East Indies are sending some units to help me. The Philippines sending a tiny amount of units to help me. Oh my. He's got a carrier on the way. The Philippines is trying to invade his fucking mainland like a bunch of idiots. Really after that. I can't hear you. What'd you say? So what is it you're after? Well, you see, this whole time, this has been a PvPvE playthrough. We have not actually fought yet, and I have put a lot of time and effort into, like, you know, building up and doing all that kind of stuff. But, so have you. And in fact, you've been gaining a lot of resources. Simultaneously, while gaining these resources, we haven't cooperated. And we have had no signs of cooperation. And therefore, with you about to gain access to your oil strip in the USSR, I decided it's pretty much now or never if I want you to not reach the point that I was at by the start of this playthrough so soon. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. I don't intend to conquer you with this invasion. I don't know how this invasion will go. I thought about this for like an hour, and I had to ship all of this crap under your nose. <laughs> I, like, triple thought over whether or not there was a point to doing this war. And I have decided I have something I want to gain. At some point, I will offer peace to you, and you can offer peace to me. If you so want peace, peace can be made after a point. Think of it like a paradox interactive war, you know what I mean? You know the ones where you can only like set war targets and then and then you have to take what you can get and then come back later kind of thing? All right. <laughs> I don't know if I'll win this playthrough, but I know I don't want to lose. So let's just say the war target of this is to become a permanent pain in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I want to become a permanent pain in your ass. Why do you have a blimp? Why is there a World War One airship on the front line? <laughs> How's it going? I've killed another like 80 units. I don't know how many of them are garrisons. I've only lost two at the same time. It's taken a lot of micromanagement to do any of this because my AI is being really stubborn. I don't have naval control over here for my AI to be being this stubborn though. Where do you even want to send this crap? I don't know. Probably all the way back to the Americas since I left it so uh, unguarded. The Philippines are sending me some units though, so that's nice. We gotta keep pushing forward. We can use Burma to our advantage. I do have access to British Burma, and it will have access to supplies. We still need to take this barracks from him. He probably has a lot of troops just chilling out over here. He's sending a lot of his ships over here to fight us at this port, but I dare say he won't gain anything from it. Let's make sure he's not going crazy anywhere else. We got the USSR on our side. The Philippines is sending all of their troops up north to try to attack the Korean Peninsula and other things, which is not what I wanted the Philippine Navy to do, but it's what it's doing. He is instead choosing to directly invade the Philippines. At least they can defend themselves a little bit. This is where he's sending a large amount of his units right now, is to invade the Philippines. I'm okay if he takes parts of the Philippines. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay if he takes the whole Philippines, quite frankly. If I'm being honest. I can get way more from him than what the Philippines has. The Philippines is going to give him at least somewhat of a fight. He's, you can see he's already having some kind of trouble. They're getting shit going. They have units. Um, I might need to give them units, quite honestly. Let me give them a bunch of... Uh, well, they might just throw those units into the fucking fray like idiots. And try landing in all the wrong places again. 
Hopefully these units don't just die and that they come back somehow. Let me see. U.S. Philippines. Already lost 27 units and killed none. Well, that's not a very good sign. We gotta make our goal clear. We're pushing on Thailand. Let's go. We're gonna get those lady boys. The Australians are coming to help me. Interesting. How? How much? How much Australians? Well, they're militarized. They're coming to help me because the war is in the region, clearly. I feel like I need to have some of my own troops headed over to him. Here, these guys are trying to leave, so let's let's send them over to the Philippines and see if they can help. Yeah, he's putting everything into taking the Philippines. If he takes the Philippines, we're driving on China. It's that simple. If he takes the fucking Philippines, we are driving on China. I will not stop at Indochina if he takes the Philippines. I will take all of China. Thank God I had them make their own military or they would be falling just without resistance right now. Let's keep pushing on this barracks. This barracks is a pain in the ass. We're right outside it. It has to fall soon, right? What's the losses look like? I've, I've lost two more units and killed over 100. Again, probably mostly garrisons, but we're gonna do as much damage as we can. If he's gonna go for the Philippines, we are going to take as much as we can. He has the troops to take the Philippines. He really does. How's his bullets holding out? He's somehow maintaining bullets, and I have absolutely no idea how he's doing it. We're running into a brick wall up front. He has so many units up here, it's insane. A lot of my units want to leave when they go to repair, which is just wholly a mistake. He is running into some issues progressing against the Philippines because there is any resistance at all, basically. Oh man. He has some fucking ships over here hitting our retreating units. We gotta get some land units to attack them. We have spilled over into Thailand, though. He's smart to place his units here if he actually did it, because it is going to hurt our units that are, like, trying to retreat or anything. We've killed another gigantic amount of units, let's just say that. Let's just say gigantic amount and call it there. I'm sicking my navy on his ass now. I'm done playing games, boy. We're going all out now. I wish I had some cap ships over here already just to fuck with these dudes. Let's see if we get this Iowa. This Iowa's doing some damn nice work. Oh, this Iowa's stomping everything it touches, dude. Let's, uh, let's get this Iowa over here and see if we can stomp all of this. One fucking Iowa, yeah. Let's see how that works. I can't believe the Philippines are actually, like, marching out to fight out here instead of just defending their own land. That is a little frustrating, but... Maybe if I put this back to low, they won't do it. I have overwhelmed the capital of Thailand. The lady boys are mine. This is shrinking my inflation, of course. My industrial goods are doing all right. Uh, my military goods, of course, are the things that are struggling. Um, let's find a new spot. Six more military goods factories. You know, we need them. Let's see what he's doing. What is he building during all of this? No industry goods, no military goods. He's not building anything. He's distracted by the war. And he's out of military goods, guys. He's out of ammo. At this point, when our navy hits him, it'll be game over. I hate how the Philippines is sending all these units out. Defend your own fucking land, dude. Looks like the Iowa did indeed crush literally like everything he had over here. Hell, the British Navy over here is starting to help me. My allies are rallying with very tiny amounts of units. Emphasis on tiny. Gotta start taking these units and heading off in different directions now. We got a lot that we can accomplish. Where are all these planes coming from? They have a fucking source of these planes down here? I see no air base, so there must be like a carrier or something he's using. Let's go ahead and head down here. See what we can accomplish. He's not gonna surrender, so we're, we're not really able to skip a lot of things. Oh, he's sending a lot of troops down here. Oh god, this is a navy. A lot of this is naval forces, and the Philippines are about to run right into them. That's not good. Here comes my navy, though. He's about to eat some fucking shit. Because he's out of bullets, as a reminder. Which puts his units over here in the Philippines at a distinct disadvantage. If at any point you want to peace to buy for time, any sort of treaty, or uh, anything like that, you well, just you, let me know. You pretty, much, you pretty much killed my oil and my freaking military supply. I'm fighting with next to nothing, so... Yeah, sure, let's peace it out. Oh, you want peace now? 
Well, I have... I, I'll, I'll tell you this. I do have some more targets I'm going after, at the very least. If you want peace right this instant, you are liberating China. Oh, is that what you're going for? You liberate China and make it free right now, and I will even let you keep that bit of the Philippines you got. I will consider your offer. Otherwise, I'm going to keep marching, because I have my goals. Although, I'll say one thing, you're better off leaving the Philippines. From early on in the game, I made them make their own military production, and I threw like 20 billion dollars at them. Now that you're out of bullets, you're not taking the Philippines. I suggest leaving. Fight where you can actually accomplish something. Also, if you haven't noticed, my navy is saying hello. Yeah, I notice. When we do set a peace agreement, by the way, we can determine a ceasefire length that we must obey by. Oh shit, submarines over here are causing some problems. The fucking Philippines need some help getting their ships past here, I can see. My, the one Iowa over here is, has gotta go save him. We're accomplishing a lot. I'm cutting off his rubber supply. The actual resource war targets of this, by the way, if you haven't figured it out, I was going for neutering your rubber and oil supplies. Yeah, I noticed. Since you were getting oil from Russia, I thought, well, if we had to have a temporary peace and I needed to accomplish something, what would be the most important thing I could accomplish? And I figured the answer to that was neutering at least your rubber supply, if not also your oil supply. So my current war target, if you can't tell, is Indochina. Looks like your military approval rating's fallen pretty badly. <laughs> I dare say I planned this out pretty well. Is there anything I could take with this? Yeah, the Marianas. Marianas could be a good snag. What is this little fucking hellhole? Go after the Marianas real quick. Go, go do that for me. Go yell at the Marianas. And then maybe Micronesia and Palau. What do we have over here? What's great is if I if we make peace, I get to keep all this fucking ocean territory. Not that it's worth a goddamn thing, but let's look at the fucking losses. Dude, I've killed like, oh my god, 500 units at least. I don't know how many are garrisons, but his military must be neutered. I'm still afraid to take China all in one go, though. Taking China sounds like death. My military goods are holding. I've gone through about 200,000 of them. The war can still continue. He must think that he can still win this somehow, because he is still fighting. Despite clearly not standing a chance, the Filipinos have arrived to help me. Looks like he took my advice and he did leave, mostly leave, the Philippines. I will be very happy when they reclaim the rest of their territory, which they are doing. I want to make sure they end up with the territory they started with, if possible. Here comes an offensive of air and land, but it's in the jungle. It's in the jungle. He must have landed over here. I can, I can encircle this. Hold on. Like, this is a terrible maneuver for him to do. I could encircle this. It's possible. If I make it down to this port. Yeah, he's using this port to land a bunch of shit. This Iowa is still here. Let's see if we can get any uh, kills on his landing units. Definitely some, at least. Oh, he's got a lot of units already landed. But with the Iowa here, we can maybe blow some up before they even land. I haven't gained... No, I have gained two land military productions. Where was that? It must have been already here at the start. Here we go, I found it. There's an air base and a seaport and an aircraft production here. That's not it, though. Here's the land production. Two land production. So I now have military production over here in Thailand. And circlement maneuver is starting, as we can see. I'm gonna stop heading north with as much as I am. I'm gonna instead focus on heading south and completely encircling this maneuver of him. Let me get rid of this. My, yeah, my losses are not nearly exceeding my kills, so we're doing fantabulously here. A lot of the Filipinos are leaving and going home. They have reclaimed almost everything. Again, he should still be out of bullets. He's still out of bullets. So he doesn't stand a chance. Pretty much conquered this northern part. There's no other easier access locations here. Not even if I go through Burmese territory. So I'm going to want to do this with these units. Still a lot of Filipinos here, realistically. 
A lot of the units sitting in the back are actually defensive units. Mm. A lot of the Filipinos units are being sank, unfortunately. Yeah, he has naval domination of this region. That much is just, you know, certain. I am bombarding his coast here, which is helping keep him out of ammunition. He does have some garrisons out here. Wasn't I sending... Yeah, all right. I'll say, wasn't I sending merchant marines down there? Where are they? They just haven't reached there yet. <clears throat> yet. I said, I'll accept your peace treaty. I'll liberate China. <clears throat> you will liberate China. And tell me, how long of a peace would you like to guarantee? A thousand years. That's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> I don't know, ten? You want I'm ten? Really this playthrough hasn't even gone on ten years. Oh, also, it's going on like eight. <laughs> That's not ten. Five years. Five years for liberating China. Hmm. That's a long time to let you build up, especially due to how much I accomplished in four years. Liberate China, and I'll give you like right now, and I will give you three, four. If you want more, then you will have to wait till I conquer more of Indochina because there's nothing stopping me. Yeah, you have an unlimited amount of fucking troops, money, military supplies, everything. I stockpiled a million military supplies for this. There is one condition to your liberation of China, though. If you want at least three years, oh, what's that? you must not make military treaties with them. All right. I will watch, I will spy on them, and I will figure out if you have made treaties. And if I detect treaties, then well, military treaties what about military treaties? treaties if if you make like you know extradition and yada yada if i see any of your units moving through china i will know that you got transit treaties which are military treaties all right so no transit treaties but trade economic trade is okay economic trade yes no transit you release right now uh if you agree to release right now i promise you Three years. Okay. Fine. We're in agreement? Okay. Yes. Liberate China. Okay, it's been liberated. It has indeed been liberated. The date is January 4th, 1945. In three years, our peace expires. Here's your peace treaty. You have retained Vietnam. I will also make peace with China. I didn't realize it would keep me at war with China. <laughs> I had no intentions of taking them over or anything. So we got more military production over here. We got here in general. This is amazing. The Philippines retained all their land. I didn't end up taking this like I wanted to. All right, uh, I believe my war is completely over. I still hear a lot of shooting and I, I don't exactly know where it's coming from. My units are stuck in your territory. Oh, they can sail out. I was like, I don't know where that's coming from or why, but hey. Well, how's that for excitement? <laughs> I think you were just bored. No, no, I was definitely strategizing. I was trying to figure out how I should go about... Because every time I asked you, every time you spoke, what you said to me was that uh, you thought that we go PvP, there was never an instance of you saying, oh, well, we'll, uh, you know, we'll yeah, just, know. we'll team up. So, because that, uh, attitude never changed, I went under the assumption that everything you were building up was to fight me. So, after Your a point... assumption was correct. <laughs> yes, exactly. When I got my military goods to a certain point and made myself literally the dominant economic and military power in the world, I checked, I deployed my whole military. I saw the second strongest military, which I think was yours, was a fraction of mine. And I have monitored intensely your military production uh, capacity this entire time to make sure I could figure out what to do. And so here we are. I have rapidly reduced your population china is now free that's the big one i didn't want you to have china not from the beginning of the game not in the middle of the game at no point did i want you to have china <laughs> you can keep going after russia i won't do anything to stop you originally i was gonna send units to proxy war you but i'm not even gonna do that anymore also not to sound condescending 
This is a legitimate offer. If at any point you feel you have lost the playthrough and don't think you can turn it around and want to surrender, let me know. That was fun though. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I, it was so hard to transport all of that, really. It really was. Uh, so I hope you appreciated the effort I put into that. My next goal, make an ally out of China one way or another. Even though they're at war with the Soviet Union, another ally of mine. Oh, by the way, when I declared war on you, Turkey uh, canceled their alliance with me. Turkey stood up for you. They wouldn't stand up for you enough to fight me, but they stood up for you enough to cancel their alliance with me. Also, I love the spaghetti of your seawater. <laughs> I love that. By the way, technically speaking, some of these ships, like the ones most inner on your islands, those four next to Matsuyama, they can't leave. Where's all that shooting? Is that just all in Europe? Jesus Christ. Well, <clears throat> thoughts? <laughs> thoughts? Uh, <duh. laughs> yeah, what, are, what are your thoughts after that? I don't think I'm going to be able to recover in three years. <laughs> I thought I was pretty generous granting you uh, three years. I thought that was a pretty long period of time, considering look how much I built up in four. You could easily become like a rising China in that period of time in my eyes. So I wasn't so sure about offering you that before conquering the rest of Indochina. But I think freeing China and assuring that you do not ally with them was worth it. Another condition I had that I didn't tell you I was watching to make sure it was met was that you completely vacated the Philippines. It was already met by the time you uh, wanted to surrender. <laughs> You've annexed Taiwan. I guess you need anything you can get right now, huh? Right now, yeah. <laughs> I won't blame you. I won't blame you. I tried before the end, I also tried to snipe uh, the Northern Mariana Islands and your little island colonies from you, but I didn't make it in time. I think I could have driven that whole war through China and kicked you off of mainland Asia. Do you think I could have done that? Probably. Yeah, because China wasn't doing shit anyways. But here's the thing. The moment I step on Chinese land, I would have had to fight all of their garrisons. I did not want to fight all of their garrisons. I went into this only wanting Indochina. <laughs> I actually didn't think you would give up on China. I thought you would want to hold that. Since we're in a ceasefire, I want you to tell me. How big is your remaining land military, if you feel like telling me? I'm just really curious what kind of damage I did. Well, I um, had about 800 units. <laughs> now I'm down to two. Two land, land. units? No, 200. Two, okay. 200 units. Nice! Yo, I could have kicked your ass. That's awesome. Well, you can damn well bet I'm not gonna take my foot off the gas while you have three years to recover. I feel like I got a bunch of oil and rubber. I don't know why. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. <laughs> you still got some. I should have let you and then made you fight your ass way through fucking China. I know. I I, I That's didn't. What I should have done. I didn't tell you because I didn't I didn't want to have to fucking fight through all of China. You taking China to me was such a terrible thing. I had no idea. When the moment you took China earlier, I thought you had already made it, so it was impossible for me to win. How'd you like my um, militarized Philippines though? Yeah, they, they put up a fight. Dude, I literally threw fifty thousand military goods at them and said, "You go get them." <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, these are all historical. I still think if I went for your mainland, I probably would have lost, though. Yeah. I spied on you uh, for a few months. All around your empire, I put spies uh, to try to figure out where your troops were and what they were like. I saw how garrisoned your main island was. I saw how many units you had over there. I, I didn't see a way to beat you over there. So I knew the way to beat you was I'd have to get the rest of your empire. Technically, I think I still could have taken your uh, home islands. But only because you sent so many troops to fight me over Indochina. I think that's the only reason. I think if you had kept at least half of your troops on your main island, it would have been impregnable. Oh my god. Peru declared war on Germany. Yep, this is historical. These events weren't in the game originally. Actually, if these are historical, it doesn't make sense because they're coming in so late. What's he making? Some industry goods. A lot of oil. 
up in Russia. He's going to exploit all the Russian oil this time, so I can't take it away from him. He's going after some Taiwanese stuff. Supply depots up in Russia. He's going back to his uh, grind up there. Yeah, all of South America is just declaring war on Germany. <laughs> that must be historical, but I don't understand why it's happening so late. Well, at least now I know my military goods can be sustained for a while in a lengthy war. It's everything else that I need to work on now. <laughs> I need more industrial goods. I'll need more oil. I'll need more of everything. In three years, January 4th, 1948, we may end up having the showdown of all fucking time. Yeah.